Alrighty guys, it's showtime once again for the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim on the Wriggling YouTube channel. Today we I'm are being I sent to speak with Nazir. Oh. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some dog? Oh yes, please, Spencer. Your mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! No <laughs> bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get what's going on. Old man, regale us with your tales of wizardry. <laughs> ah, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damn messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> Get roasted, son. I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead. And I have a new loincloth. <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice to know. I'm pretty sure that's like a term for a G-string. But I, I like this, what y'all did here. You know, you have meetings every now and again, discussing your murders. That's very, um, yeah, it's very something. I don't know how to describe that. So, is it true? Oh, you mean in that manor house during the thunderstorm? <laughs> what can I say? It happened, just like you heard. But to be outnumbered twenty to one... <laughs> when I become wolf, I am treachery incarnate. And then, then, there is no one who can stand between the hunter and his prey. So he's a werewolf. Okay, let's go speak with Nazir now. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. Flex like Sithis. Flex like Sithis. Ah, going for the mysterious and brooding thing, huh? That may work for your targets, but you'll find I'm not so easily impressed. Astrid said you'd have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. What do yet. you mean? And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available to be completed at your leisure. You say you didn't have a chance to, but I legit just saw all of you just gather around in a circle talking. Actually sounds like how most work goes from my experience. Okay, so yeah, that sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either, but they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. What can you tell me about yourself, huh? Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself. And I have never looked back. Okay, yeah. That's good for you, Nazir. I'm glad you're 
ended your days as, of being a soldier to become an assassin. That's good for you. I'm, I'm ready for the, yeah, the first set of contracts, okay? Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and they tilled a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Sounds easy. All right, Nazir. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. Yes, always somebody needs killed. There's gotta be somebody that needs some killing. Tell me about Norfi. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. Uh, what are you suggesting there, huh? Tell me about... Inodius. He lives just outside Anga's mill in the woods. Oh yeah, I know where it's he at. Was once the miller. Now Papius is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. Yeah, do you think he knew he was right there? <laughs> Alright, tell me about this boss man, Betelild, whatever. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Betilde's angry and desperate, a fighter. Okay. Go on now. So wait, so this isn't any particular quest, it's just contract and kill whoever. Okay. So, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh yeah, I'm gonna take a look at that shout real fast. Marked for death. Speak and let your voice herald down as an opponent's armor and life force are weakened. I'll unlock it and I'll still have five dragon, dragon souls left. Not all that fancy and cool. I might not ever use it, but that's whatever. What are you doing? Go away, creep. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She hey! Hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. So it's looking like those kids got what they wanted. Wanted. A good home. In the days of war and strife, the orphans of Skyrim are the true victims. Many have no one left to to turn to and face a life's a life of hard labor, poverty, and misery. If you could provide a stable home for one of those innocent children, please consider adoption. Whether you choose to adopt from us or to take in someone closer to home, you can make a difference in a child's life. For more information, acquire with Constance Mitchell on her fault orphanage Riften. I like that. That's what, that's what those kids were wanting. Over in Riften. Some old oh. lady who runs yeah, orphanage. I know about that. I did. I mean, yeah, I know about that. What I'm doing here is there's like a, a miscellaneous objective to where you can help out Norfi in a way, and I'll just go with the flow. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrel on the east side of town. It's haunted. I don't remember how I got started though. If you fancy a bit of music, let me know. A pleasant journey, my lord. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Yeah, I don't remember how to get that started though. I gotta talk to somebody here in Iverstead. I might not even do it if I can't find out how to do it. I don't want to waste too much time on this. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything? Maybe if we just talk to him. What? No, if we talk to him, we're gonna have to threaten him with Dark Brotherhood stuff. Alright, yeah, whatever. I tried. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Okay. Thanks again for the lady. I tried being a good person. Norfi, wake up. Who are you? What do you want? I want to talk. No. Beg. 
beg for your miserable life. No. Oh, by the gods, please, no! <laughs> How did you see that? Alright, just gonna go get that alley off. How did you see that? A fight. Just die. Just arrest me. By the wood of there the we wall. go. Stop right there. Alright, I'm with the guild. Clear my bounty. I can make all your problems yep, with the bounty. Done. Now move along. That was easy. So now we're going to Dawnstar. Yeah, I tried helping Norfie out. I mean, you guys saw that. I tried helping him out. I didn't mean to be too rude there. I told him to beg for his miserable life. It's just something I do every now and again whenever I'm slaughtering people in game, of course. So now we have to kill a mind boss who divorced her husband, or her, her husband divorced her, and are now running competing minds. According to Nazir, she's a fighter, which I'm not worried about anything. How do they keep seeing me? I was sneaking. Whatever. I don't care. Just gonna put my bounty off. You really thought you could get away. Yeah, I'll kill you. Oh, y'all don't wanna arrest me. Okay, but I'll give you one more chance to arrest me, huh? You guards are really asking for it. I don't want to kill you guys, so my bounty's gonna go up, and I have to pay more to clear it. But I will kill all of you. And there's only like four guards here in Dawnstar, so I think it'll be that hard. There you go. Oh. So I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I can never go back to Dawnstar though. I'm gonna go to Uttering Hills Cave here and sprint down there. Now you're mine. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, we're just gonna come over here and kill this dude. I mean, he knows we're here. Please, someone do something. I killed a mud crab. What? Who's over there? Hmm. Let me kill you. You know what? Oh my god, I'm on crab. Must have been nothing. Yeah, it was nothing. What do you think you're doing? Boom. Witness was killed. You only get caught killing two out of those three people, so. I mean, that's a good numbers, right? I'm gonna go down here and discover this mill, actually. This quest is just feeling short. Like, it just feels like it's not taking long at all. Now we return to the sanctuary. I killed all the guards in Dawnstar, and I didn't get caught just now. So I should be good when it comes to that. Should make a little bit of profit. Pretty sure you get like 250 per assassination. And I'm pretty sure it goes up to like, to like 300, then 350, and then 400 over time. Or maybe it goes up to 500. Hey guys, I killed him. Cicero! Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely, punishment? 
Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Yes. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as keeper. Understood, husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, uh, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. What's up? Do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the Hag's Cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. I actually just did three of those contracts, but whatever. Yeah, and like she just said, her word is law, so it doesn't matter what the Take Night Mother the says, contract. her word is law. Which, if you know anything about the Dark Brotherhood, then this Dark Brotherhood is like, I guess it's kind of like what the Thieves Guild was, it was in a rut, going through a bad patch, and Ampion is going crazy over there, he's just smacking whatever. <laughs> but, the Night Mother is the one that's kind of like what Nocturnal does for the Thieves Guild. Nocturnal guides the thieves' hands and the luck for the thieves. And that's what helps them prosper. And that mother kind of does that with the Dark Brotherhood when it comes to the kills. And Astrid is trying to go away from the Night Mother and she's trying to be like a tyrant. But we're going to have a little chat with Cicero. We saw him earlier at the farm. Wait, oh wait! I know you. Yes, yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. You're the man of the wagon, transporting his mother? I am, I am! But not just my mother, our mother, hmm? The Night Mother, oh yes. <laughs> and you helped me, you helped poor Cicero, you talked to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother. And our mother, she will never forget. Why don't you come to the sanctuary? The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was... desecrated. Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought our lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my... Honor as keeper. Who is the night mother? Oh, what? He was Who offended by is that. The night mother? Oh, oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. Yes, yes. <laughs> you, of course, know that the night mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Yeah, that's hilarious. Tell me about Sithis. Hmm. 
That's like telling you about the cold of space. Or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the void. What are the duties of a keeper? Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body. Oils it, preserves it, keeps Makes it love safe. to it. Make sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. What can you tell me about yourself? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper I keep. Look after our matron, you see. The night mother. I keep her clean and protected and <laughs> happy. Okay, but I am not the listener. Oh no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her. Say the word. <laughs> the listener. What's a listener? Oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Though, of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our lady has not chosen Cicero. And certainly not Astrid. Or anyone. But someday. Okay, so we learned Cicero oh, likes God. making love, or he likes being intimate with the Night Mother. Or he wishes to be intimate with the Night Mother. Yeah, that, that's good for him, I guess. You know, you gotta have something to strive after and thirst for and hunger for in life or you know what you're really living for I guess we're gonna have a little ch chat with Nazir we gotta turn our three contracts in so many contracts so little time Norfie's dead congratulations you slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood you are truly an opponent to be feared Here's your payment. Thank you. Next. Go on now. 500 gold? Whoa, I didn't know it was that much. Bitteth Dold is dead. Of course she is. <laughs> I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. <laughs> and those hours. The murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. I like your little corny murder puns there. Emodius Popius is dead. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Okay, so... Do you have any more contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. I'll just walk Brother. away. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old <laughs> women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Any advice on my current contract? The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Go to a location, and kill the target. But this is different. The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important, and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. So it seems the Dark Brotherhood is you kind of divided. Kill, my friend. There's some, um, like, Festus here. 
that want to go with the old traditions and side with the Night Mother, or there are some like Nazir and Arbjorn who want to move forward and progress into the future, I guess is what you could say. And they want to step away from the Night Mother's traditions and they want to do their own thing and be their own entity and their own organization without having to do what a corpse says according to these people's dialogue here. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, I'm pretty sure well, yeah, we're going to Windhelm to speak with Mirai. And she's got a contract for us. She wants us to kill an ex lover or something like that. And we'll be doing that in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is Riggle signing off.